Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Big Beast. Wait for the drop. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Just a quick disclaimer here. This is not financial advice. This is simply a public video thing <laughs> of my analysis of my trades. Okay, good. Do not trade with this. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, before we begin, please subscribe, please like the video, and please comment. Let me know how you're doing. The top comment every week wins one month subscription to Algobox. That's free indicators, free signals, basically free money there. So, um... Go do that. So just comment. Just comment. I'll pick a comment every week. Um, apart from that, let's get on with the analysis. There's a lot of stuff to talk about today. Obviously, um, we've had our big pump coming off of 7k. As Well, not as expected, but we did talk about the fact that this could happen, right? Um, again, I'm still bearish. I'm more bearish. I think this is a, actually a bear trap. Um, really, I think we can get to 8,000 maximum, as I've been saying, right? Uh, and then we will dump off and... Uh, and just leave it from there, right? So, um, what have I said this week? I've said that basically that we broke this resistance line, this green guy coming back down, also the wedge, right? Um, we broke this guy, and this thing was our catalyst coming down as well, right? So we, if we'd have shorted off all of these, we'd have made bank, 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 right? Uh, so this line has confluence, it has uh, respect here. So the fact that we got over this, I did say uh, something like this might happen, right? Where we've broken the resistance, we come up to the next resistance, uh, we come down, we retest the previous resistance as support, and then we run it up, up to the next resistance, right? So we broke through this resistance here because obviously we've already tested it up here, right? Um, and now we've broken that, we're just kind of retesting it right now. And with that retest, this can go either, either go two ways, right? If this goes down as a ball trap here, then it will dump, it will fall off of this, and it does look a bit uh, flaccid today, right? Not a lot of girth in this move right now. Um, but if this if this support does hold here, um, there is obviously merit to say that we could come up, test this 8,000 zone right about here. Uh, me personally, if we get above this line, uh, there's obviously moving averages around here as well. There's a lot of things confluencing around this area. You can see here this little mole hill on the on the way down uh, was around 8,000. Uh, so with that here, it's, it's obviously a big point people are going to be shorting off of. So maybe we will get a, a wick up here. Maybe we like one thing that does happen with Bitcoin a lot is we do something like this where we break it and then we just dump off and uh, and just just basically <laughs> scrap off all of the dirty longers, right? Um, so we're going to be looking for shorts this whole time here. I'm not going to be DCA, I'm not going to be doing uh, any kind of ladder trading, but what I will be doing here is just waiting for those confirmed rejections. Once we get those, we can jump in and make the big trades, right? So I was short from 72 here. Um, again, I am still in cash, so I am still technically short, but I haven't lost any money, right? Uh, and the way that works is I'm not in a leverage. I'm just literally holding cash, so I can buy less Bitcoin, but but the dollar value stays the same and in such uh, cautious financial times here with the world economy blowing up in everyone's faces and coronavirus um, going into everyone's faces there's a lot of merit to say that uh, everything's unstable right everything's unpredictable so with that I'm I'm very cautious about what can happen here obviously the Fed are printing a lot of money um, that could mean two things, right? It could set us up for a nice little bull trap up here, or it could actually push us through and let Bitcoin recover because we know Bitcoin is deflationary rather than uh, fiat, like um, the dollar, whatever, is inflationary because they can make more of it, right? So um, yeah, Bitcoin could come up here and actually smash up through all of this in reverse, right? But I don't want to be talking about that just yet until we get over this little molehill, as I said, right? If we can get over this bad boy, um, Oh, nice little motorbike in the background. <laughs> Love that. But yeah, if we can get over this bad boy um, and really start to kind of make some moves, kind of, I don't know, break it, retest it, and, and look for a long there would be great. But um, if we do get up there, I'm actually not going to be looking for this long too much unless we do get signal from either the breakout machine, the breakout machine version 2, coming soon, by the way. Um, join t.me slash algobox if you want a free trial on that. Um, and yeah, if any of these indicators do give us a nice little signal here, then um, yeah, obviously I'm going to be taking the trade. We are, uh, we, we did have a long signal last night, and uh, again, I'm, I'm kind of cautious with this new breakout machine, so that's why I haven't released it just yet. There is a few issues with, uh, with the leverage. The results are fine. But um, there is a few issues with the leverage uh, that I want to sort out, right, with the candle closes, right? Um, a, a good example of that is on 16x here, uh, where this candle opened. This is the hourly, right? Yeah. We would have actually hit our stop loss down here. 
um, if we had come down, right? Uh, and that's obviously not recorded here on the strategy. So there are going to be times, and it does even out over time. Obviously, uh, if we had a stop loss here and we went up, uh, it's no problem. We've been stopped out. We've had a minimum loss trade. Um, but at the same time, if we waited for this candle, it went up, we'd miss out on a lot of value. Um, and then on the other side, there's that. Basically, if we, if we put in with a stop loss here, and it's not going to record it if, if it like comes over it, but if it doesn't come over it, we've got that stop loss there, and we can potentially catch a very nice move, right? So it does even out to both sides here with the profit and loss. So I don't expect the results to be any different, but I am looking to get that fixed uh, at, as soon as possible, right? That's a pretty hefty tool that we need to be working flawlessly. So uh, yeah, but eventually this did stop out here, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, I don't think this was 16x. This was... This could be 16x. Oh, it is 16x. Okay, so the stop out here... Oh no, it was 20x I was trying this on. Sorry, yeah, it was 20x on the on the first long here. Um, because obviously the 20x results are ridiculous. Redonkulous. If we can see this, 20x, I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but 22k from the start of the year. From the start of the year. Now that, if I haven't said before on this channel, that's pretty beefy, girthy Chicken McNugget gains all over your face. Um, yeah, so... With that being said, with that being said, with that analysis cleaned up here, um, this has hit the stop loss on the 20x and on the 16x, right? Uh, the 7x, which uh, our strategy isn't actually with this, it's with the other breakout machine. Uh, but if we just bring up here, because I think it'll give us something similar. Uh, with the 7x, I think it stopped out. Did it stop out here? Oh no, it didn't stop out. No, no, sorry. 7x hasn't stopped out. So if you did want to take a long, now is the time. But uh, again, not financial advice. I'm not in a long here. I'm just waiting for the bull trap. I don't really, personally, I'm not interested in a long right now. I'm interested in a short. I feel like there's way more money to be made in shorting right now. So what I'm going to be doing here is waiting for that short opportunity. Um, that's how I'm trading this. Uh, apart from that, I mean, if you guys are using the breakout machine and you are long, it's not a problem here. We are being held up by the support. It does look a little bit flaccid right now. Um, and there's potential you might get stops out, but uh, it says long, the results are good when it says long. Um, you could still hold this trade technically if you wanted to. Uh, we wouldn't have got stopped out in that candle as well, so the strategy is solid. Uh, if you did want a long now, it's fine. You just need to work out your stop loss, which on, uh, for example, if we did 5x, your stop loss would be a 2% move, right? Uh, I'm not going to work that out for you guys here, but it, that's the math, <laughs> right? Uh, and we haven't got to that 2% move just yet, right? So that 2% move, if you did want to enter now, um, the 2% move would be... I think your stop loss would be 74.02, somewhere around there, maybe 73.95, something like that. Yeah, that's where your stop loss would be, um, and we wouldn't have hit that yet, right? So if we did come off of this, this would be a nice little long here, but I'm not putting that signal in just yet, just because uh, we've obviously gone up a grand over like a day, so it's not really... <laughs> It's, it's not really the time to long. I feel like that time is gone. It wouldn't make sense for me to long. We've had a 15% move in like a day. Uh, that's not unheard of with Bitcoin, but other assets, that's a huge move. Um, me personally, with technical analysis here, I'm not happy longing this just yet. I would prefer to wait for a rejection here. And the way I would play this actually is uh, probably we would find some support here at 71. Uh, we'll probably come up and test this again. Um, 75 and then on that would be my time to short on the confirmed rejection right so if we get some nice uh, engulfing bearish candles around the support level uh, and it does look like it's a confirmed rejection that for me is going to be a nice time to enter there in a nice short all the way down to 6600 right uh, so yeah that's the kind of way I'm playing this right now and that's why I did not put the the signal in the tra the telegram channel right a couple of you guys did go long uh, one of you guys got stopped out um, as well as me, right? I, I actually have a hundred bucks that I've put aside just for the sake of it, right? Because it's like, it's not a lot of money, right? If I do bring up the strategy here, I've set it all back to defaults, so I can just show you guys, right? Um, with a 20x leverage um, on, with a hundred dollars, right? And I started this yesterday with this first signal, uh, with a hundred dollars, even from the start of the year, we would have made two grand from a hundred dollars, right? That's 2000% gain. Right? Um, from 2019, it's still astronomical numbers. We're talking uh, 9 million here, right? So, yes, there's still uh, there's still potential here to, to, to be filling these longs, but at the same time, I'm not risking a lot into this. And this is why I'm, I'm clarifying, I'm only putting $100 in. I know $100 is a lot for you guys, but um, 
you know, like, $100 is enough for me to put aside and be like, if the strategy fails, it's fine, whatever, um, burnt $100, cool, I'll fix it next time, uh, and we'll get closer to some solid results, right? But if it works with $100 over the next year, if we get similar results as last year, if it works with $100, and I can get $9 million from $100, um, or just lose $100, I'm... It's a pretty good risk reward scenario in my head anyway, uh, with a strategy I know well, with a strategy that I know works. Um, yeah, that's that's how I'm playing this. Um, just to show you guys here on the chart as well, nine mil in the back, so you can see. I'm just gonna highlight the middle zero, so three digits, three digits, one digit, nine million. Okay, so yes, it's still a good strategy, but uh, it's a new strategy. Okay, there could still be issues with it, so that's why I'm allocating such a small amount with such potential big gains, um, because it's either a break, break even or a win, basically, right? So. A tiny little loss, a little loss. What's trading view saying? What's new in the trading view land? Quandle data has never been more comprehensive. There's two words I don't understand in that sentence, and I'm not going to look it up. Um, let's get back on to the analysis. We can see here. Um, I don't even know what's what's going on at this point. Let me say. Yeah, we can see here, breakout machine right now, is the volume is back above the MACD, it could bring us into another move, or we could just skirt around like we've done here, right? Uh, I don't know if you guys can even see that, let me just bring that up. Yeah, you guys can see that, so, yeah, we could just skirt around like we did here, uh, and just come down again, right? We are in some sort of accumulationary area, so it does make sense for us to, to kind of come down as well. Also, historical volatility here on the hour is starting to retract again, so sideways makes sense. If you are playing the range here, you need to be using the right tools, okay? If you're part of AlgoBox, if you're part of t.me slash AlgoBox, uh, and you have a free trial or or a membership, few guys of you guys, few of you guys have actually uh, bought this so far, so congratulations to you guys to picking up the deal, the 90% off deal until the 1st of May, right? Um, that's because I hit 2,000 subscribers, just giving back to you guys. But if you don't want to spend that, uh, there's no problem. Just join t.me slash AlgoBox. t.me slash AlgoBox is actually free forever. It's just the indicators that I'm renting out, right? Because I put a lot of work into them. Um, so it just makes sense to, right? Um, but yeah, HVP here, retracting. For now, uh, the, the moving average, this blue moving average here, is starting to slope down. Uh, it, it's a normal thing here. I do want to check out this on the 12 hour though. I want to see uh, how this has gone. Yes, okay, so this is the next thing I want to show you guys. Uh, this is what's important about the historical volatility here, right? We can see here on the 12 hour, it has been retracting for some time. Um, a lot of other YouTube channels, well, not a lot. Crown's Crypto Cave, the other YouTube channel that, that does HP, HVP. Um, I'm surprised not many people do this, to be honest, because it's such a huge indicator in trading. Um, but yeah, he, he kind of brought to light that this was retracting on a 12 hour. I usually look at the one hour here um, because you can get those those nice moves pretty nicely, right? You can see here. Uh, you could have caught the whole green, the whole green land over there. So, um, yes, after that, yeah, I mean, we could have we could have longed here and, and held that entire long out for like 800 bucks. That would have been crazy, but <laughs> not always the case. Um, and we haven't back tested that theory, so I'm not OK using it yet until we have the uh, the complete stats. So I am still working on this as well. Uh, four strategies, I do have a couple in mind. Some of them are profitable, uh, but not as profitable as I want, right? We want the big, beefy chicken nugget, girthy gains inside you <laughs> on a Friday, right? So, um, <laughs> sorry, my colleague's just laughing. Um, yeah, so, what was I saying? The historical volatility is retracting here, right, on the one hour, but, uh, on the higher time frames, we did not get over our SMA here, okay? This is a huge factor. If we get over this, uh, we can start expanding upwards, right? Not the case in this one, but uh, in the past, right, once we get over it, it's expansion upwards. It's good expanding uh, with the moves as well with Bitcoin. If I can just drag this down a little bit, uh, you can see some of these moves um, are very nicely in tune with this indicator. So. Yes, this is what we're looking for right now. If we are just looking at the 12 hour just in terms of a TA perspective, actually just before I go to the TA, uh, we are still retracting, just to summarize that. Uh, we could still retract until even, eh, I'd probably say uh, May, yeah, somewhere around May 11 here. So between May 11 and May 14, which is also in tune with the halvening. Um, again, with the halvening, a lot of people are asking, and I will make a separate video on this tomorrow for you guys, but a lot of people are asking about what's happening with the halvening. 
I've seen you guys in the Discord. I've seen you guys in the Telegram group, t.me slash algobox. I've seen you guys in there um, talking about what's what's going on with the halvening. Me personally, my opinion with the halvening, um, yes, there's supply and demand uh, going on there. Yes, um, the demand is being cut in half. That's obvious. Sorry, the supply is being cut in half. That If the demand got cut in half, that would be brutal. But yeah, the supply is being cut in half right now. Um, what does that mean? It means miners are going to be selling their Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to dump, okay? Um, it also means a lot of mainstream-ish or kind of intermediate traders, whatever you want to call it, uh, the people on the sidelines that don't really trade, they invest, right? Those kind of people... Um, They'll be looking at Bitcoin now. Uh, the fundamentals are solid there that Bitcoin will go up. But uh, I want to bring to your attention the, the fact that our mean here is about 6,000. Okay. Our mean here, um, is it mean or median? I don't, <laughs> uh, our average here is, uh, is about 6,000 for Bitcoin over the past few years. Um, we are around that area, give or take, right? 74 isn't that far from 6,000. Uh, so there is obviously. Um, some pressure towards the downside here obviously we've got corona going and we've got big fundamentals at play as well so my opinion with the halving just to put it into one sentence i think it will dump <laughs> um i am still looking for a nice short though i think it will be a bull trap i do i think we could even get as high as ten thousand before the dump um i mean we could still contract here with volatility and go up that's not a problem um it's only really, really when we get those jagged, big breakout or breakdowns is when uh, is when we get the volatility going up, and that's when we get the big moves, right? If we are just looking at uh, the, the historical volatility here, when we break out of that contraction there, uh, we can see here that that's the big dump in March, right? Uh, I can bring up a f other few examples here when we when we're down here, right, in this very very low historical volatility area. Afterwards, boom, we get a huge move huge move so if I can get some really really nice um, some nice code together to, to make this strategy a thing then we've got some uh, some real money on our hands here if this works out um, just still see the same thing here right this would be a perfect example of uh, like one of the kind of bull traps we're talking about here right where it's green I started expanding here and then as that expansion turns to red and we break down uh, the expansion gets bigger and uh, and the historical volatility expands to the maximum right because it's being more volatile so yeah there are huge moves linked up with this you can see that just looking at the chart generally here um, with this coming down again around the halvening I would expect a big move nonetheless there's gonna be a move we just don't know which way it is yet um, but I think before that time, it's going to be very, very uh, quiet in the markets. A lot of people are going to be fearful. A lot of people are going to be um, just just scared to trade. I think the fear levels will be high um, until we get some kind of, I don't know, some kind of indication of direction, right? And then it's going to explode in that direction. So I think it will be a trappy area, dirty, wicky, trappy mess. But uh, with that, oh, I haven't showed you this as well, right? This is my new indicator. It's called blue. I'm calling it blue. I haven't finished it yet. Um, it's a combination of a few indicators. It's got some curved trend lines there as well. You can see. Um, it's actually very beautiful. I like it. It's my baby. Um, I won't be making any strategies with this, but it is going to be very, very good for the TA. You can see it just plots out the supports and resistances beautifully. So, um, yeah, we're going to be using that uh, soon. Anyway, just get rid of it for now, actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... What's next to talk about? We've had our uptrend, uh, we're kind of bouncing around this area. Yeah, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the sideways money indicator, right? Um, there's a few trades I could have had here after this big move. I did say uh, sideways money is prime after a big move. The problem is we usually get a breakout signal after a big move as well. So um, it's tough. It's, it depends how you guys want to trade, right? If you are a bit more advanced and you, you're comfortable with ranges, you're comfortable with trading, your mentality is good towards trading, then uh, yes, this is the perfect indicator for you right and it's free for two weeks t.me slash algobox put your trading view name in the chat i will add you for two weeks for free for free and if you make some money with it then maybe you can buy something you've got nothing to lose really um besides your money anyway um obviously if you trade wrong with it <laughs> you might lose money so you've got to be confident and aware of your own abilities with that being said uh the trade you could have made here is um Essentially, this thing becomes valid once we're in the center of the range here. So the validity of the strategy enters here, right? You would then short 
once we see this wick here uh, forming. You'd short here, you'd have your stop loss at the next highest wick, uh, which would be uh, 76, 17 or 18, somewhere around there, this one. Uh, you'd, you'd have your stop loss there, you would short here, uh, and then you would just cash out in the green zone here. Just cash out there. And that in itself, if it is a trade, and obviously it's a trade, <laughs> if it is a trade, but uh, yeah, if you, if, if you cash out there, you're talking about 11% gain on 10x. That's nice gains. That's girthy gains. All over your face. So, um, next up, I think that's it. That's, that's going to be the video, guys. A little bit tired here on my end. Um, we're not in a trade right now, but I am still going to be testing this strategy. And once we do get those big gains, when we get the big moves uh, on 20x, that's going to be juicy. But yeah, uh, for the twin, for the, the bigger strategy here with the, the 20x leverage, the 20% stop loss, um, again, don't try this with version 1. This is version 2. Completely different parameters. It will give you bad results. So don't try this with version 1. Um, but um, with this strategy, what I'm going to be doing here is just with the 100 bucks, just use the 100 bucks uh, for the next year using this strategy. If, it's, if we get um, what I think we're going to get and we get some substantial gains in a row then obviously our hundred bucks is going to be like a grand and that's when we know okay uh this is actually working well right i can now take five losses in a row and i'll break even <laughs> right uh, that's the kind of the results we're waiting for here so i am just going to be waiting for that with the hundred bucks and if that comes up to a grand or something over the next three months then i'll be releasing the breakout machine if you guys have purchased the one year subscription to all of my uh, indicators which is 90 percent off right now it's 0 0.01 right so right now that's 75 bucks obviously if bitcoin goes up you're going to be losing time at because uh, the prices won't change in comparison to the dollar right um so that would be 75 bucks for a year's membership to everything i use to be a profitable trader okay um so yeah and obviously i'll help you to learn to use them as well right but yeah that's going to be it from me that's the video i'll see you guys in the next one peace out and goodbye from Bitcoin Beats. Also, please like and subscribe and leave a comment on the video to enter the giveaway. One month free subscription to everything. Um, yeah, bye.